The gar hammer raise performed on the bench is the easiest version of the gar hammer raise versus a hanging gar hammer raise is much more challenging. This exercise generally can't be performed for as many reps. So if we're trying to start a beginner or if we're trying to do a higher number of reps, we'll choose the version on a bench. Set the bench up at an incline, bring your knees towards your chest, and then push your feet out away from the body to extend the body fully. Now you'll notice on the left-hand picture that the toes are touching and the heels are slightly away from one another. We want this positioning as this gives you the highest probability of reducing any sort of clicking sensation if you do have that in your hip. Furthermore, we wanna maintain a slight lordosis or mild arch in the low back with this. We don't wanna aggressively crunch down as if you're doing a sit up. You don't wanna flatten your back out against the bench. We wanna maintain a nice small amount of natural normal lordosis while you feel your abs with this exercise. You should not feel your low back with this exercise. If you feel your low back with this activity, you're progressing too quickly through too large of a range of motion, too many reps, or perhaps this just isn't the right exercise for you at this moment in time. Now, if you don't have an inclined bench available to you, what you can do is perform this exercise on the ground. On the ground is a little bit more challenging, especially as the feet get out away from the body, but a nice way of modifying that for someone who does not have that capability just yet is just tap your heels down to the ground and don't extend your legs out fully. We still want to keep the toes touching one another, the heels slightly apart from one another, and a small amount of lordosis or arch in your low back. Perform for desired number of reps. Again, making sure that during this exercise, you only feel in your abs and hip flexors, you do not feel it in your low back.